Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, how to create a first Docker image and container using a Docker technology. So we saw uh, Docker is a, a containerization technology which will be used to create a, a, a environment where you can actually uh, isolated environment where you can run your application as a containers, right? So let's start with exploring uh, what is Docker file okay and how to build a docker image using a docker file and we will see how to create a docker container from the docker image okay so what is docker file so docker file is a simply a text file with the instruction to build a docker image so it is going to have a set of instruction based on that instruction uh, when you build a, uh, when you when you when you actually uh, issue a docker build command okay the docker file will be taken and the based on the set of instruction in the docker file the docker image is going to uh, create so after that once the docker image is created we can run the docker image to create a docker container okay so let's uh, explore how to do this okay so i'm going to log into my uh, virtual machine okay so i am create i created a, a, a empty uh, folder okay so i'll just log on to that uh, uh, just navigate to that folder okay Right now, there is no uh, uh, files in my uh, uh, Docker file. Okay, uh, let me. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, let us continue. So, uh, let me log in. Okay, so we actually created an empty directory called uh, first docker image. Okay, so we are going to create a docker uh, uh, file. Okay, so docker file basically uh, uh, how the naming convention should be. Uh, so, so generally it, it should have uh, uh, the first letter as uh, ds caps and docker and file okay without any extension. So when you do a docker build, so this docker image, uh, docker file will be taken uh, and the based on the instruction in the docker file, the docker image will be created. Okay, so the docker build command will actually look for this file. Okay, but you can give any file name. Uh, if you are giving different file name um, uh, other than this convention, so basically you need to uh, specify your file name while doing the docker build. That's, uh, that's the only difference. Okay, I'm using a nano editor to modify this file. Okay, so this is an empty message, empty uh, file. So first instruction is basically, uh, I have a simple uh, uh, instruction. So first you can have a comment. Okay, so you just, I let me copy paste this comment. So you can, uh, you can actually have it a comment. Okay, so uh, uh, you can have a comment. Then followed by the first instruction should be from uh, we may which, which image you are going to build it. Now build it. Actually, you can build a simple uh, image uh, uh, and also uh, like uh, we can use the from scratch to have a just empty image. Okay, so basically that image will have a, 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 a kind of empty image, right? But actually, I want to use the open to image and I want to run a, some shell command to. Uh, uh, just execute it so that the container will run those commands in the uh, container okay so uh, first instruction will be from okay and uh, image which you are going to pull uh, I'm going to pull the docker uh, the Ubuntu uh, image okay and then uh, you can actually uh, tell the maintainer okay so basically it's kind of author for your uh, docker file so Maintainer is a command which uh, followed by you give the uh, you give the uh, user information with the email id which is kind of a author for this docker file right i given uh, data making as my username and uh, the mail id is india cloud tv dot at uh, gmail dot com okay then followed by there is a command which i am going to run this is the echo command it's a linux command shell command which I'm going to run uh, while the while creating the container. Okay, so it is going to pull the uh, Ubuntu uh, Docker image, and uh, then um, it's going to add this uh, maintainer, 
and then while creating a container it is going to uh, run this shell command and we will see this output this uh, text message will be seen while running this container okay so let us uh, uh, save this in the in the nano uh, nano editor control uh, 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 control uh, o for write out okay and then enter so it is uh, written uh, okay and uh, save okay say i say say control y okay so it is written so just want to verify that the file is uh, having the content okay so it's having the content so basically first is a comment and followed by from ubuntu the maintainer and the shell command echo command we are going to run it so now we want to build this uh, um, uh, docker uh, 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 need to build the docker image using this docker file the command is basically uh, this is a command so basically you should have a, a docker build so sudo why i am adding is basically my current use of data making is not part of a docker group so so just say i am using into sudo so sudo followed by uh, docker and build and then my iphone t so actually uh, i want to give my uh, docker image name with the tagging okay so i just say that's why i have given iphone t for tag so i given the docker image name as first iphone docker iphone image and colon uh, the tag uh, basically i am giving 1.0 and followed by dot dot is nothing but where your docker file is located dot dot basically represents the current location right so if, suppose if you are running this command from somewhere else and if you want to uh, uh, tell this uh, docker file you need to provide the path of the uh, uh, location or path of the docker file where it is located okay and let me run this uh, asking password okay so it, you see here the first command it is running from ubuntu so it is pulling the ubuntu image okay uh, then the second command is uh, basically the chatting the author and third command it is actually uh, uh, <coughs> uh, running this actually it will temporarily create one container it will run it so anyway we are going to uh, run this and uh, i'll show you okay the docker, docker image is created the docker image name is uh, first uh, iPhone docker iPhone image dot 1.0 okay so uh, that our docker image is created now let us go and run uh, so let's see the uh, docker I will run the command called sudo or docker images it will show you which of docker images so you see there is a two image one is the Ubuntu image we pulled and there is another image called uh, first iPhone docker iPhone image and tag name is 1.0 this is a image we created using the docker file now let's run this okay sudo uh, sudo uh, docker uh, run followed by i'll give the image id okay so it is going to print the uh, the echo echo uh, message we put so all over world this is my docker image and container so so this is how you can actually build the uh, docker image using the docker file so this is a simple container we just uh, uh, run your echo command and it exits out of the container that's what we done it in this uh, uh, this image okay so uh, in the next video we'll we'll build a, a more sophisticated uh, docker images and also we'll see different uh, docker containers uh, for uh, uh, different technologies like uh, databases we'll see different database content databases provides uh, uh, um, as a container uh, for our use usage we'll see different technologies with, uh, using a docker container okay so i hope this video is helpful to you uh, please subscribe to my channel data making to get more technology videos and watch my other uh, playlist uh, which is having more videos on different technologies like uh, spark and uh, hadoop other stuff you can also get a uh, free image for uh, free uh, virtual machine for hadoop and uh, spark uh, uh, <coughs> technology thank you so much friends see you in the next video